Hello everyone, welcome to day 16 of August Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Range some query immutable. In this question, we are given an array of integers and we need to identify the sum range starting from the leftmost index up till the rightmost index that are given to us. The basic approach or the naive approach is very simple and straightforward. Uh, whenever you get any request to find the sum range, you start the iteration starting from the leftmost index goes up till the rightmost index and with each iteration you calculate the sum within that specified range. There is another concept known as prefix sum and this question forms the basis of that concept prefix sum. We have already done two questions that are way higher and complex than range query immutable. The first one was range query immutable in a 2D matrix and the second one was range query range sum query mutable. I'm attaching the link uh, to those videos here. Once you are done with this basic question, I would request you guys to go and look at that question. Without much ado, let's look at the presentation that I have created for this and let's get started. Range sum query immutable lead code 303. It's an easy question and if you know prefix sum approach, you will be able to solve it by yourself and I hope the same. So let's try and understand the question by the same example that was given. Uh, this is the input array of length 6. The first element is minus 2, 0, 3, minus 5, 2 and minus 1. So uh, in prefix sum approach, we do some pre-processing on the input matrix and that pre-processing helps us in finding out the uh, sum between specified range starting from the leftmost index up till the rightmost index in a constant time. And what is that pre-processing? You create an array that is of size one higher than the input array that is given. So I have created a new array starting from the 0th index up till the 6th index. And then you continue to build this array. How? Uh, the first element stays as 0 itself. The second element at the first index is minus 1. The next index would be equal to the next element would be equal to the sum of these two elements. So sum of these two elements is minus 2 and how do you calculate that? You take into consideration the current element and the prefix sum that you have built in the previous index. So what is the previous prefix sum that you have built in the previous index? It is equal to minus 2. So you add these two values and you assign it to this place. 0 plus minus 2 is minus 2. Let's continue the process. What is the current element? Current element is 3. 3 plus minus 2 leads to the next element which is 1. Minus 5 plus 1 leads to the next element which is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 2 leads to the next element which is minus 2. Minus 1 plus minus 3 leads to the next element which is minus 3. And now you have built in the complete uh, prefix sum array. Uh, let's check how will this help in finding out the range sum across two indices starting from the leftmost to the rightmost. So let me just erase everything. And let's assume that the left is given to us as 0 and the right is given to us as 2. What is the sum for this range? Minus 2 plus 0 plus 3 it is, minus, it is 1. And the answer should be 1. Let's check that out. What we are going to do, we will calculate uh, the sum in the prefix array at the 0th index and simultaneously we will try and calculate the sum at right plus 1 index. What is the sum at right plus 1 index? It is equal to 1 and you will subtract these two. So this gets subtracted from this and this gives us the sum for this, this particular range which is equal to 1. I hope you got the context and let's try it by another example. Let's assume left is given us as 2 and right is given us as 5. So what you are going to do? You will go to what is it? Let's calculate the what would be the answer. 3 plus minus 2 minus 5 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1. So the answer should be minus 1. And let's try and use the prefix sum array that we have built. 
what is the value stored at the second index the value stored at second index is minus 2 and what is the value stored at right plus one, at, at right plus 1 index right plus 1 index is minus 3 so minus 3 minus minus 2 minus 3 minus minus 2 is equal to minus 1 which is the expected answer the first thing that I have done is to define the prefix sum array. It will be of the size 1 higher than the input array that is given to us. And then I have built this prefix sum array. The prefix sum at i plus 1 index equals to the prefix sum at the previously uh, calculated index that is prefix sum of i plus the pref nums of i, the current element under consideration. And once you have built this array, uh, the you will use this information to find the uh, some range within left and rightmost indexes that would be equal to prefix sum at right plus one index minus prefix sum at leftmost index the time complexity of this operation is equal to order of one you can get this value in constant time the time complexity for this operation is order of n where n signifies the length of the input string because we are building the prefix sum array i hope you enjoyed today's session if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and don't forget to revise the other two questions that i have attached below it will help you in building this concept further